have this bad habit of being like sick. And I'm trying to trying to stop that because it's really a pain in the ass when I edit my video. And then I Hello, thanks for coming back. This is the part two of a, um, well, it's part two of my no buy series. That's what I'm going to call it. So part one has already went up and it was kind of like an introduction to like a no buy year. And in that introduction, like I touched on like that I'm only going to make repurchases when I run out of stuff. And, um, I broke down like my makeup into 29 different categories and we went over the numbers. So in today's video, it's going to be hair products, skin products, and um, body care items. So if you are, I said this in the last one too, if you're interested in like actually seeing like a detailed like overview and like see what everything is within the category, like let me know down below an easy video that I could film I just don't know if there's like a demand for it um, so in this video we're just going over the numbers and kind of talking and you know it's we're just going to discuss like where I would like for these categories to be so my no buy year starts in August from August um, 2019 till August 2020 so my plan is to definitely um, at least have a six month check-in in in February 2020 and then the year at the end of the year in August 2020 sit down again and see like where these categories have gotten to you know because I'm not buying anything for myself except for repurchases but you know then you've got like gifts and other things like that coming in so um, I'm going to consistently work on like panning these items um, but it you know by this time next year it could have actually grown just due to like gifts or something like that just, yeah so we will um, start with hair and hopefully editing Haley could uh, make note of some time stamps I don't know to show you so we have hair skin and body okay so hair, there's only three categories for my hair products. And so that's dry shampoo, hair treatments, and then shampoo and conditioner. Um, so for dry shampoo, I currently have on hand four bottles. I have two of, well, I have two that are like a foaming shampoo and then two that are like your standard dry shampoo. So I do tend to go through dry shampoo pretty quickly and I'm honestly not mad at having four. Um, I typically tend to buy them when they're like buy one get one half off and I'm not really like brand loyal to any of them um, I'll get you know not your mother's if it's on sale I'll get the Batiste if it's on sale things like that so that's that's typically how I make my decision to buy my dry shampoo and so then I'll buy you know like four bottles at a time they're buy one get one half off it's a great deal so I'm not mad at four hair treatments I don't even know oh I know what's in this category it's not like hair masks or things like that I don't have those or I don't have any you know at the moment and I don't plan on getting any but I do have like a texturizing spray and I don't know what else I put in this category but I got three I got three written down so I do have like my own like detailed view of this list and so I could easily like Yes, I know what it is now. I have a de two detanglers, that's what it is. So anyway, I have three hair um, treatment products. And again, I think that that's okay. Honestly, I think I only need like two leave-in, not two, I only need like one detangler slash leave-in conditioner. And then just having the texturizing spray, that's enough. I don't really do a whole lot for my hair. It's just, it's either up in a wad or it's down and it's straight. There is no like, fixing my hair so I don't need a lot of hair care products and then the last one would be shampoos and conditioners so um we let's see probably like a year year and a half ago we um decided to like coupon a bunch of things and like try to save money that way and then so our hair like our shampoo and conditioner um inventory got out of hand and my husband started he used to have like longer hair and then he started to shave his head and um so now he doesn't really use shampoo and conditioner so here i am by myself to use up 26 it's so it would technically be 
you know, divided by two. If you want to count it as a set, divide that number by two. But I'm counting them. Oh, no, wait. Is that... Oh, hold on. I got to check because... One, two, three, four. No, okay. That is counted individually. I thought that I, whew, for a minute, had a heart attack because I'm like, do I really have 26 sets of shampoo and conditioner? But I don't. It's it's 26 individual shampoos and conditioners that I need to work through. So obviously, I'm not buying shampoo and conditioner for a very long time because I don't wash this every day. This mop does not get washed all the time. So that's it for hair care. And I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning, but... I didn't include things like body wash, um, things like that because my husband uses them too and I'm just keeping track of things that are my stuff that's specifically getting used up by me. So body wash isn't in this and even even if I was to go in and assess it, like our body wash um, kind of like stock is not out of control. So. So anyway, let's move on and do skin. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven categories for skin. So let's just start off with face wash. I have five and I, again, I think that's ridiculous. I need one, one face wash. You got one face, wash it once. I wash my face twice a day, but you get what I mean. Um, then I have toners and micellar waters and I have three written down, but I think it might actually be four. Let's go with four. Let's play it safe and go with four. I think I have four in my collection. And again, why? You're only using, it's one specific product for one specific use. So one is fine. Then we have oils and serums, which I have two. I have a vitamin E one and then I have a rosehip oil one. Now the vitamin E one is what I use to repress my super shock shadows um, if they were to dry out. I used to use it on my face, but it broke me out. So it's like got yay much left in the bottle. So I'm just using it for if I were to have a shadow dry out. And then after that's gone, um, I won't repurchase that as like a skincare item. I do sometimes, that's the other reason why I counted it. Cause I do sometimes rub it on my elbows or I'll put it at like the ends of my hair after I shower. Um, so yeah, I have two oils and I think having one is enough. I only use the rosehip oil. So then for masks, I have, this included sheet masks and like more like clay type masks. So, and the sheet masks are counted individually. So all in all, I have 27. That is ridiculous. I think having like maybe five sheet masks on hand I don't do them every day I don't even do them every week like I should I do love them I get a great joy out of them but I think having like five sheet masks on hand and then like th two or three like clay masks is way more of a acceptable category or acceptable number um then I have face lotions I have four why do I have four again one face you need one one so then we move on to eye creams again I have four four why one get this down to one stop over buying um and then the last category for skincare is lip scrubs i only have one and i try to remember to use it and i just i'm not a lip scrub kind of girl i don't think maybe by the time i finish this one i will decide that i am and if i am then i'll repurchase it but again i only need one so i'm gonna work through the one that i have if I don't like it, I'm not repurchasing and that category just won't exist anymore. So then this brings us on to the last part, which is body. So again, body wash is not counted in this because I'm not the only one using it when in the shower. Um, so I have body scrubs this is the first category and I have three, three. Again, just have one body. So I think honestly just having one and the, you know, the one I have, one is from the Amish store and one is from, uh, well, two are from Tree Hut. The one from Tree Hut that's in a tub, it's huge. It's like almost 14 ounces, I think. That would last for a very long time. So I think just having one body scrub is more than appropriate. Then for body lotion, I have 13, 13 body lotions. 
So I'm gonna try, I have some that I really like to use in the winter and then I absolutely love Bath and Body Works um, body lotion. So I like to go in when they're having like a sale and buy three, get three, it's great. So I, 13 is a lot and, and the number I'm gonna tell you is probably a lot too, but I'm fine having six because it is something I consistently use body lotion. I use it twice a day. I go through them pretty quickly and I like to have a variety of scents. That way I'm not getting like fatigued on one scent. So I think six is more than enough and um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that number. Then we have shave oil, which again, I have two, two, and that's okay really because the only reason I have two right now is because the one that I was using had like this much left in the bottle. So I went and bought the backup, but I haven't finished this yet. So there's two in the inventory, but really it's the same brand. It's just a repurchase. So I'm okay with something like that. Or if it happened to be like buy one, get one half off or something. So two of the shave oils is fine, but really technically it's the same product. So, and then our last one for body, I threw in perfume right at the last second. Um, I don't know why I wasn't going to include it originally, but I, I ended up doing it. So I have, um, four actual bottles of perfume and then the rest are like samples from Sephora when you, you know, get a Sephora order. So all in all, I have 11 perfumes and I, at least by the end of the year, want to get through all of those sample perfumes and get them moved out because I just don't, I don't remember to reach for them. So I've moved them. I store them in a different place where I like actually have to look at them every day so that then hopefully that will encourage me to use them and move them out of my collection. So that is it for our um, inventory, our introduction inventory video. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you will continue on this journey and check in. And you know, I, I am kind of throwing around the idea of doing maybe like every so often like a video where it's like, what is tempting me? Like what, what do I wanna buy? And that, that really, I guess, applies more to like the makeup side of things. Um, Cause at least with this, with this particular, category with like hair skin and body it's not so much that I buy everything that's like brand new I really just have my favorites it just gets out of hand when there's like sales so that's really like what I kind of need to curb with this if that makes sense but um I hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you in the next video bye